we have been trying out the new Juvi Caboose 2 Ultralight double stroller. I have a little bit of a stroller obsession, I will admit, but so far this one really is turning out to be my favorite. We took this along to our trip to Florida and it really was a save. It was really a lifesaver in the airport and throughout Universal Studios theme park. It folds up pretty compact for a double stroller. It's not very heavy. It's pretty light for a double stroller, I think. Like it's it's comparable to one of my regular strollers. It's got a nice little easy handle to undo there. Watch out, sweetheart. No, I want to close. And then it unfolds. It's not the same as that. That's what I think. You can see. Still got my travel thing in here. To fold it back up. And I want to fold it back up. Stop, sweetheart. You pull up these red levers here. No. Stop. I, I don't want you to pinch your fingers. I don't want it to be closed. And then you close it up, and then you just hook that back on there. It has a good rear brake. This, I was missing this when we went on our trip. Um, we were kind of in a hurry, I guess, when we were putting things together and getting situated. But this came with it where there's room to put like a soda in here, and I didn't have that width. It would have been great to have that width. Um, it's pretty nice and easy to maneuver, even though it's a double. Uh, it's not too much Mom, further out. Mom, I want to leave out. Xander sits up in front. He does well up there. He likes the foot rest area, which has been nice for him. On the back. On the back is a sliding little bench where there's a storage bag underneath. Yeah. You can have, can you stand on there? She can stand, no don't stand on the bench. She can stand there and hold on or she can turn around and sit down. And there's a, there's a belt to go around her waist. There is also an additional seat cover like this one that you can attach onto the back so that they can both sit like this with the five point harness which is nice. We didn't use that because we knew she was going to be up and down and up and down and in and out quite a bit. Uh, but it made it so much easier. The tray. Super easy to pop on and off. You just press that to come off. If you have an infant that isn't able to sit up in the seat yet, there is an attachment that goes in place of the tray, and that helps hold the infant carrier seat there. And then you can, and then you can still have a toddler on the back. The canopy is easy to pop in and take out as well. And you can kind of cover both kids if you you know if you needed to. So, but it, it's pretty good, as you can see. Pretty easy to maneuver. Here's a little bit more close up, and you can see that the bench slides. Um, so if they're wanting to sit, you can just slide it out. You get access in there, there's the belt hanging there. It's kind of hanging down at the moment. Or you can slide it back. It's a little more awkward trying to sit with it slid back because then they're kind of running into the other spot. So we would slide it, we were sliding it forward while she was sitting. Or they can stand on there. It's really easy to recline this. You just you just pull up on that and then you know you can lay it back. Now laying it back doesn't work so well when the other one is on the back, of course, but but it's a it's a good option for the little one. Though if you have both the seats on here, then you can lean them both back. The storage bin under here. Um, you don't put baby down there like the picture shows. Um, it's only made to hold about five pounds there. It got a little beat up on the plane, as you can see. Um, 
I mean, we had to gate check it. We didn't really have any choice. The bag I had, I bought a bag to put it in while it was gate checked to help protect it, but the bag that I got was, didn't stay closed very good. But you can see that really got chewed up right there because that's metal sticking up there. So that's kind of disappointing, but that's not the fault. That's not the fault of the stroller, of course. That's how it was handled by the airline. So yeah, thank you Airtran for destroying my new stroller a little bit. So hopefully it doesn't get beat up when I go next month. Um, otherwise, it fared pretty well. It's more of a close-up of the canopy. And how that looks under there. And then you can adjust this part. Even though it's a double stroller, I think I'm taking it when just Xander and I go traveling next month because with it's just it's so convenient for moving him around and it has better storage than my single strollers <laughs> when they're when we're citizen on there. And just for getting through the airport so far, I have liked this better than any other stroller I've tried using through the airport. Um so yeah, I think I think that's what I'll be taking with and I can definitely see it being our go-to stroller. I mean, I still have other strollers that I like for specific reasons, but now that, you know, we're getting around, going around more with the two kids and, you know, Rissa likes to be independent to a point so that she can walk or stand. And like when we go to the zoo, you know, it's, it's kind of a pain to keep getting her in and out of the stroller when she could just hop on and off from the sit and stand. And Xander goes back and forth between wanting to be worn and wanting to be in a stroller. So it's much easier to have just one stroller that meets both of their needs, whether it's at the same time or different times. And yeah, I'm really liking it so far. Um, husband said that I have to get rid of something else. I'm not sure which stroller is going to go because I hate to part with them, but uh, so far... This is, I'm really loving the stroller. Um, and uh, I think there's some additional organization kind of stuff that you can get for it. And I think I'm probably going to get that. So if you have any questions about the stroller, please let me know. If there's anything else I can show you specifically with it, please let me know and I will demonstrate that. Um, it's, <laughs> I don't want to cram too much into the video. So, um. Let me know if there's anything, any other questions you have with it.